All right, here's the story about Herschel at Saig. Herschel at Saig. Saig is a goat. Herschel the goat man. <clears throat> the Baal Shem Tov once went into a city and he went to the city and he was, uh, he would wander from place to place, the Baal Shem Tov, and gather people and he would teach them <clears throat> Torah and the holiness of the Jew and the holiness of the Torah and the happiness of the Torah and how special the Jewish people are and etc. And he would say, <clears throat> And one place he went to, and he saw that there was a man going down the street, walking down the street, and he saw he had a big fire over his head. A fire. Obviously, it was a spiritual fire. Nobody else saw it. Simple people, nobody else noticed. A big fire over his head. <clears throat> and all the kids, the children, were saying, Hi, Herschel Tzayig. Hi, Herschel Tzayig. Hi, the, hi, Herschel the goat man. Hi, Herschel. And he said, Hello, children. God bless you. God bless you. Have a good day in school today. Learn the Torah. And, the, and they were happy and everybody was happy. He saw a fire over his head. So the Baal Shem Tov wondered, how could it possibly be this person? It's a, it doesn't look as a special person at all. You know, it, 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 so the Baal Shem Tov decided he was going to fast. He was going to and pray to God for an answer. How could this person have this tremendous high spiritual level and that he has a fire over his head. The Baal Shem Tov wants to, you know, <clears throat> also achieve this level, or at least appreciate what it is. <clears throat> and so he's fasting. He doesn't get the answer. So one day, the, the, the Baal Shem Tov, he fasts like two days, three days. Nowadays, we don't fast, by the way. This was the time of the Baal Shem Tov. Fasting was a thing. Nowadays, the, the Alter Rebbe was very clear. Nowadays, fasting is out. Fasting is not a good thing. It just makes you miserable and and and. and, and and uh, egotistical, but nevertheless, <clears throat> fasting. So Baal Shem Tov uh, was, uh, finished one of his fasts. He walked outside. He was all weak. He, I guess he was praying the whole day and for an answer. And there is this Herschel at Saig walks by and he says, excuse me, sir, are you hungry? And the Baal Shem Tov says, yeah, yeah, I am. And the reason the Baal Shem Tov is, is because of this Herschel at Saig, this Herschel the goat man. That's why, and here he comes. He says, well, come over to my house. I'll give you uh, some goat milk. I says, okay, good. So he goes to this house. He opens up the door, this Herschel outside again. In his house, there's like eight, 10, whatever, goats. And they're happy. They're jumping around and they're happy to see him. And they're licking his face. And he's happy. And, he's this. and he takes a bucket. He puts it under one of them. And he milks it. And he gives the milk to the Baal Shem Tov. It makes them feel good. So the Baal Shem Tov said... Um, Tell me, what do you do? Who are you? He said, well, I'm, you know, I'm a simple man. My wife passed away a few years ago. She was a really holy woman. What a holy woman. And she appeared to me once in a dream. And my wife and she said that I should buy goats and that I should milk the goats and I should give the goat milk to anybody who needed it. Because it's very, it's very healthy. Goat milk is very healthy. And it heals people and it'll make people feel good and feel better and and there's some people that are hungry. Some people don't have what to eat. The Jews were pretty bad situation. And, that, and that's what I do. So the Baal Shem Tov said, wow, you know, now I see why he has this big fire over his head because he gives charity to everyone. And he milks these things. And it, also he does some, I mean, I think he was a, a wood chopper or something like that. That's how he made a few pennies so that he had enough to live them. <clears throat> So, and that's what he does. And that's what he does. So the Baal Shem Tov was really amazed, you know, really amazed. He saw the amazing importance of, <clears throat> of giving charity. So the Baal Shem Tov took him and he said, listen, uh, do you know how to learn? You know how to, he barely knew how to read. No, then the Baal Shem Tov took him and started to teach him. He taught him Chumash, he taught him this, and little by little, he started to become, you know, uh, uh, he was very versed in the Torah. And even in the secrets of the Torah. There are secrets of the Torah. Okay, okay. And even in the secrets of the Torah. Because... And he became one of the holy society of the Baal Shem Tov. Part of the holy society of the Baal Shem Tov. <clears throat> and he became one. Okay. Afterward, this Herschel at Saig, eventually, he was an old man when the Baal Shem Tov met him. He passed away. 
he passed away. But nobody in the town had any idea of his holiness. He kept everything very quiet, and he was just, you know, giving out this milk. Everybody thought he was a simple, you know, nobody. <clears throat> but he was a very nice guy, and everybody liked him, and he gave, you know, free, you know, goat's milk, so everybody, you know, everybody liked him because of that. However, it was, well, the day that he passed away in his funeral, it was a very rainy day. And nobody really thought about it very much, you know, to go to his funeral. So barely there were 10 people that came to attend his funeral. I don't know if the Baal Shem Tov was even there in the town when he passed away. <clears throat> <clears throat> so um, there was a big furor up in heaven that this holy man that did so much good is that... Um, no one that they, he wasn't buried properly. He wasn't buried in a, in a, with a proper honor, and it was decided in the upper heavens, in the heavenly court, that there would be a decree on this town, and that there would be a punishment. Some something bad would happen, a, a pogrom or something would happen to the town. And so his wife interceded in heaven, and she had a tremendous amount of merit on her own. And she said, how could the Baal Shem Tov related this whole business? The Baal Shem Tov said that he prayed to avert this uh, tragedy, but it didn't work. There was a tremendous anger in heaven that he was not treated properly. So all the bad things that anyone in this town did ever, it was all brought up, you know, into, uh, into light. And it was judged. So, but this Herschel at Saig's wife interceded. It ended up she had done so many good deeds and she was so holy. And she said, how could it possibly, how could you possibly do a thing like that? His whole life was only to benefit people. My husband, his whole life was only to benefit people, to, to give them free uh, milk. And after it became a, a big tzaddik, just to pray for people. At the, <clears throat> the two, he, he, and he kept it all quiet. He didn't want any honor on us from anybody. But his whole thing was only to benefit people. That's the way you're going to honor his passing away is by punishing people. That's exactly the opposite of his whole, the whole purpose of his life. And the heavenly court accepted it. And he was, the decree was averted. So it comes to show you how powerful doing a simple deed is. First of all, it shows you how holy the Baal Shem Tov was that he saw this whole business. But how doing a simple thing like doing favors for other people, giving them goat's milk could bring to a level that was of holiness that was even higher than the Baal Shem Tov. And because of that, the Baal Shem Tov added to this person and realized that he was a true vessel for the godliness to appreciate the Torah, the godliness of the Torah. And so everybody benefited from it. So one more good deed can bring the fire that will build Jerusalem. And that's what we need now, more kindness, more good deeds, more good thoughts, more Torah learning. And uh, by means of that, we'll all be dancing with the Mashiach. Hope to see everyone, God willing, 8.15 tomorrow morning. We'll finish the Devar Malchut talking about Mashiach and the Third Temple and the laws of the Torah. Have a good day. God bless you all. Shalom Ubrahat. Shalom. Thank you.